These two teams have really bonded over the last week. Florida Gulf Coast University, because of Hurricane Irma, uh, went right from their tournament last week up to Bloomington on Monday, spent the entire week here. The athletic department allowing them to use the facilities, helping pay for hotel and some meal costs. Great sportsmanship on both sides. Yes. Asdell will hit this one right into the wall of Carroll and Pickering. Florida Gulf Coast University on a roll now. Up four, midway through the first set, 13-9. And talking about one of the players that was behind uh, that point for the Eagles, uh, Sharonda Pickering, out of the British Virgin Islands, the island of Tortola, an island that was absolutely devastated by Hurricane Irma. It was a catastrophic storm at, at the time it hit the island. Her family was impacted heavily. Uh, their, in, their whole roof, except for over one bedroom and one bathroom, destroyed. All communication on the island lost for a significant portion of, the, of, the, uh, of time. Pickering did not know whether her family survived. It took a day and a half to get first communication and kind of shows how how, how really the, this uh, life is more than sports. And it's, it's a tough situation for Pickering especially. Yes. The point, going back to what we were saying about Pickering, her family, thank goodness, okay. They are staying, they're still on the island of Dortola, currently living at, the, at um, Pickering's aunt's house. So good news there as they begin recovery efforts. Asdell rejected, and there's Pickering. This team's got a lot of powerful arms, and they're putting the Hoosiers on the defensive. Here's Brizak finding the senior leash, getting the point, trying to claw back into this one are the Hoosiers, down 23-15. The serve from Stevens is long, one set apiece. We'll head to the locker rooms. Indiana, the momentum going into the break. 25-23, pulling out that second set. Three kills and two blocks. Talk about versatile. And somehow, the Eagles get the ball over the net, but all for naught, Jessica Leash gives Indiana the 9-7 lead. A lot of combinations up front that are just so dynamic for Indiana, but it's that Lofton and Asdell connection, the sophomore, the junior, that might be the best of them all. Van Lu to Carroll, and Lebo just dodged that one in time as it sailed out of play, 11-8 Indiana. That is the eighth service error of the match for Indiana, six service aces. Not quite that one-to-one -one ratio Coach Dunbar's looking for. Brizak to Hubers, strategically placed, 15-13 Indiana. These teams yes are friendly off the court, but competitive on it. What you love to see in college athletics. Brizak sets up, Bierman, oh man. I think I saw some flames on that ball. Rhodes, Rick, Carroll back to the Eagles. Carroll, Bierman, five, will oh. she get it? She does, Coors over the net, crowd loves it. And a play from Rick gets the point to the Eagles. What a roller coaster. What in the gymnasium. Fog serving for the set. Rick, Carroll, out. We're going to a fifth, ladies and gentlemen. 25-22, Indiana takes number oh, four. Oh, no, we're not. Take a step back. We have a green card being thrown from Florida Gulf Coast. Make that number two. That is challengeable. You can challenge. Yes, we saw Whether IU challenge earlier in that fifth. Four sets, we've seen 17 ties, eight lead changes. In the fourth set alone, 10 ties, five lead changes. Might have a fifth set like that. It's first to 15, switch sides at eight. Here we go, down to the wire in Bloomington. Serve, Rick, Carroll, the connection. <laughs> and it works to perfection. Two, two. Up 3-2, Beerman the serve. Rick, back to Carroll. Coors, nice. that nearly hit the light up there. Hubers, another kill. She's been so timely and so strategic with those placements on the short 
attacks. For Indiana, impressive. Fog the bump, Brizak the set, Bierman the swing. Back the other way. Indiana now a chance. Brizak, Lofton the decoy, Bierman the kill! 17th of the day for her. Indiana up 7-5. Indiana, six away from the victory to close out the non-con play. It's Brizak, the bump from Van Lu, the attempt from Serrano. Indiana now, it's Lofton, and you're taken right back by Serrano. Of course. Oh, the roll, the lucky roll from the volleyball gods, and the block, Asdell, Hubers, set, point, Hoosiers. Rhodes the serve, it's Lebo, Brizak, Hubers, Rhodes. Rick, Carroll, Lebo, Brizak, for the win, it's Beerman, it's in, Indiana does it. They come back and beat the Eagles. Finish non-conference play 11-1. What a win. What a win.